today we're here in Warner, Alberta at the Devil's Coulee Dinosaur and Heritage Museum. And we're super excited to meet our dynamite guest, Wendy, Wendy Sloboda! I'm Wendy Sloboda and I am a paleontological technician. First thing we're going to do is find out a little bit about what you do by playing a quick game. So we're going to ask you to describe what you do in a 10 word sentence. Ten words. My biggest thing is to look for dinosaurs uh -huh. and find fossils. I think that was it. That's that a was great it. summary. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> so Wendy, what does it mean to be a paleontological technician and what does a typical day of a fossil hunter look like? The technicians find the fossils, uh -huh. we dig them up, we prepare them, and then the scientists research them. A typical day of a fossil hunter is going out and walking. Walk, walk, hike, lots of hiking on average. When I'm actually out looking for fossils, 15 to 20K. Oh, so you cover some hiking. ground. And it's, it's hiking in Badlands, so it's... it's, it's good it's, exercise. It's very good <laughs> exercise. The thing about a fossil hunter is, is the fact that when you're out and you find a dinosaur bone, no matter how big or how small, you are the first one to see it and touch it ever. It's pretty special. And that's pretty exciting. And that, that's, I think that's the biggest draw. And then it's like, oh, I found this. Uh, I gotta find something better. <laughs> and you're always like, you wanna one up yourself. And so Wendy's found over 3,000 fossils and wow. she's been said to have almost a sixth sense for finding dinosaur fossils. So what tells do you look for when you're trying to find a fossil? What makes you have that sixth sense? Um, the sign that says dinosaur bone. <laughs> no, that only you can see. <laughs> I have been told I have an eye to see things that are unusual, that don't fit in. Mm -hmm. Color. Um, texture. Texture, the way the sun reflects off something. I'm always walking when I walk. I'm always looking at the ground uh, and being short. Oh. I can <laughs> So we're qualified. Yes, very. <laughs> Wendy, you were talking about the dinosaur embryos, so baby dinosaurs still in the egg, that were found at Devil's Coulee nesting site. What's the importance of that discovery? It was the first in the world where embryos were actually found inside the eggs. And this one is named Charlie. Yeah, this one is named Charlie. <laughs> don't like that name. <laughs> I'm not crazy about the name, no. <laughs> what would you name it? I don't know, but it wouldn't be Charlie. It wouldn't be Charlie. <laughs> So, I've heard that you made a very special discovery, Wendy, um, of a ceratopsian, where it was named after you, is that true? Yes, it is. So, what was the name of it? They named it Wendy Ceratops Pinghornensis. That's incredible. So cool. The dynamite way of being recognized, I might say. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, I took it and sent them pictures of it, and they could tell that there was something different about it. Mm -hmm. And then when they got here in the spring, they looked at it and they said, uh, where did you find this? We need to go look now. And we went out there that afternoon. Wow. So they were they were pretty excited and then in the end it, it was named after me. And I told them if you ever name a dinosaur after me, I'm gonna I have a spot on my arm for a tattoo. Can we see it? So I got it tattooed. That's so Wendy, we feel like by now we've gotten to know you a lot better. So we're gonna do a quick game. Um, two truths and a lie. So we're going to ask you to tell us three statements. Two of them are true, one of them is a lie, and we're going to guess which one's a lie. My, I love rattlesnakes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, finding dinosaurs is the best thing in the world. Definitely. And my best hiking partner is named Quigley. He's a cool little dog. So obviously, the Funny second dinosaurs. one is true. Yeah. Finding dinosaurs is, is the best, is the best thing. thing. I agree. <laughs> I've done it, but I agree. The Quigley one is true, and you don't love rattlesnakes. No. We're gonna go yeah. with that one. You don't, don't love rattlesnakes. That's a lie. <laughs> no, I don't like rattlesnakes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a real blast and yes. an honor to meet you. Amazing. You're welcome. It's been fun. <laughs>
and like I said, just do what you what what you like to do. Don't let anybody tell you that it's wrong, even if it's silly. I don't know. It doesn't look like a Charlie to me. No, not really. <laughs> Hard to tell what it'd be looking like. Maybe a Fred or something. I like that. <laughs>